Hi everybody, uh, Wayne back here um, with a new video. I've got some interesting news to share. Uh, we are back with uh, Steam Communities. That's right, Steam Communities have now been released on beta.steamit.com. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick run through about what you can do with communities and how you can go about creating your own Steam community. So first things first, you need to head over to beta.steamit.com. You can see up there in the URL, that's the URL you want to go to. So when you first arrive there, you should see something a little bit like this page here. So as you can see there, you've got login, you've got signed up. So if you have a Steam account, you just go to login and you should be able to access uh, beta.steamit where you can then access communities. After clicking on login, this is what you should see. So you're a returning user. And if you have keychain, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is type in your username and click login. If you do not have keychain, then you have to deselect if it's been selected, and then you enter would be, I think, your posting um, key. So once you've logged into beta.steamit.com, you should see something like this. So what I've done here is I've put some red boxes around some important areas of information. So you've got the first red box on the left hand side and in there you've got all posts. So that'd be kind of like your trending page. You got my friends and then we have the community stuff. So you've got my communities and under that I've got my subscriptions. As you can see, I'm already part of uh, Three Speak. actually joined that a while back through the uh, Three Speak uh, website. And then you've got explore communities on the right hand side. In the other red box, we've got here the trending communities. So at this point, they're all very new. So most of the communities are probably within this box here. So these are the communities that already have a little bit of activity. I think maybe those ones were created back when uh, beta was actually closed. But now at this point in time, beta steam is, is now available to everyone, I believe. So you'd be able to go in there and you'd be able to join these communities and even start creating your own communities. So I'm just going to now explain a little bit more about this front page and what other information we have here. So let's go over to that left hand side that I pointed out just now. So at the, to begin with, I think I had it on all posts. That was your trending. Below that, we have my friends. And I think my friends are the people that you're following. I'm not sure whether this would be across all communities or whether this is just for a particular community. But um, for what it looks like so far from what I could see, it kind of looks like the feed that I have on steamit.com. So below friends, we have my communities, as you can see here. I believe these are posts that are coming from all of my uh, communities that I've joined. As you can see, I only have one community at this point that I've joined, and that was 3Speak. As you can see here, we've got lots of 3Speak posts. And we've also got this tab over here, which is, um, is a drop down for trending, new, payouts, and mute. So this is similar to what you got on steamit.com. You have trending, you have new uh, payouts. I think these are the top payouts, so instead of having a hot tab, and at the bottom there, you got muted. So these are the users that have been muted for whatever reason. You downvoted their posting content. It's not supposed to be there or something. So that is a little bit different that we can see in communities. But um, other than that, the structure is quite similar to steamit.com. Next up, we have explore communities. So this here, from what I can see, is a list of communities. And as you can see there, we've got three speaker I have at the top there. And I joined that, and I mentioned I joined that a little while back, and that is the biggest community at this point in time. So you can see it got 745 subscribers, 375 posts. Is that? No, sorry, 1,604 posts and 375 posters. So that's a pretty big community because it's been there a while. You got a few other communities below that have just started up. And if you can look through these and you can click on them and they've got a little bit more information about them and you could just continue scrolling down and you should see all of the available communities on this list by scrolling down. And like I mentioned before, on the right hand side, we've got trending communities. So you just want to click on one of those if, yeah, if that catches your attention. So again, that's another way of getting into the communities and also subscribing to them. So since I am already a part of the three speak community, I thought I'd explore this first just to demonstrate what you can do within the community. So you click on, I clicked on 3Speak. As you can see there, we've got 3Speak and a little community under there. Um, let's just go over to the right hand side where I've got this red box. And this is where you can find a little bit more out about that community. So we've got 3Speak. So 3Speak is a video platform for deplatform and censored content creators. 
Below that, it's got the number of subscribers. It's got the number of active posters and also has the uh, pending rewards for the uh, for the posts that are currently pending. So it's not the ones that are paid out, the ones that are to be paid out. Below that, I've got uh, joined. So that's telling me that I've joined this community. I could click on that and I could leave the community. I believe if you haven't joined this community yet, you can click on it and you would join. So the button sort of has two functions. Below that is new post. So that would be a post that will go directly into this community. Below that, we have the leadership. So that tells you the owner, which is at Hive and a certain number. I think all of the communities have that as the owner. And the owner then determines the various roles within the, um, the admin team. As you can see, here we've got quite a few uh, admins here. You've got three speak. Uh, you got Call Me Dan. What's that? Sissy Go Boom. And a few others. And we've got mods as well at the bottom there too. So... So with 3Speak, it's a fairly well-developed community. As you can see, there's quite a few people in their uh, leadership team. Um, below that, just out of my red box now, you've got language. And there's an option to determine what language you want the community in as well. So you've got EN, so that means the uh, language for the community is um, English. So if you want to post directly to the community, it's very simple. You just click on the post button. And this screen here, this screen here should appear. And you've got here posting community uh, three speak. And uh, this looks very, very similar to what you get if you're posting to steamit.com and just, you know, just one of your regular blogs. You've got the top bit there is where you put your title. Then below that is the body of your um, post. And below that you have your tags. You also have options to decide whether you want to be paid out in 100% Steam Power or 50 50 split between SPD and Steam Power as well. Um, another thing I want to point out is you can see just above title at the right hand side, it's got post a blog. If you were to click on that, you could actually post just to your blog and it wouldn't go into the community. And if you click another button, which I think is post to community, it will come back to this. And then you would be posting into the community. And I think at the moment you'd also be posting to your Steam, uh, your Steam blog as well. So it's not just purely within the community, but I think that's a feature that's going to change later on. Once it's uh, out of the out of beta, shall I say beta dot steam it once it's just part of steam it. I think there'll be some option changes around that. But for now, at this point in time, I think all the community posts still go into your regular blog. OK, so let's get back out of posts again. I didn't actually post anything for this video. So it's back into the three speak community. And if you go over to subscribers, you can actually click on that and that will actually give you a list of all of the uh, users that are currently subscribed to that particular community. So this is the three speak community. So this has got a fairly long list of subscribers. Was it 744? So that's the largest community at this point in time. And you've got a whole list of them down there. Uh, it's interesting as well. It, they've actually, some of them actually even got roles. You've got this person here, the bringer of pancakes, the Marky Mark. So um, I think they're probably a list of subscribers probably tells you if they got a particular role within the communities as well, which is quite interesting too. So I've now left the three speak community, one that I'm actually a member of, and I've gone to a community which I'm not a member of. And this is the uh, Feathered Friends community. As you can see here, this is at the moment, this is smaller, but it's also got some information here and it looks a little bit different. So you've got Feathered Friends, all things about birds. That's the description is the same. So you can see there the button now is subscribe. So I click on that button to subscribe. Below that, you've still got new post. You've also got leadership. Uh, we've got description, which was missing, I think, from 3Speak. Uh, that just tells you a little bit more about what this community is about. But other than that, it looks pretty much similar to what you would see for a community you've already subscribed to. So I've just um, hopped into a post under uh, Feathered Friends and just see what's available in terms of upvoting and commenting. As you can see here, I can actually upvote the post as per normal, as in uh, the not in the community. And also you've got options to leave comments as well. As you can see here, I've left a comment that I was about to post and I've also upvoted it as well. So all those options are available to guests. You don't need to subscribe to be able to have that level of engagement with someone's post. OK, so now I'd like to talk about creating your own community. And I've gone here to explore communities. As you can see here in that middle section there, you've got create a community. So you could click on that button 
and that would actually take you to your wallet and there's a community section or what you could do as well is you could just click on your face or in this case I clicked on my face you go down to wallet click on wallet and you also should see an option where you can create your community so those links will take you to what we have is beta.steamitwallet.com so that's a little bit different from steamitwallet.com and eventually these functions here will be available on steamitwallet.com but not quite yet anyway so you go to um, the end tab there next to change password communities and you'll have this here what we call create a community so you enter the title i enter the title of economics and then you enter a bit of information about the community you're creating so i've just entered some simple information when i talk, I talk about my economics community and then you'll get something here known as your owner name and password and this is very important that you actually make a copy of this and store it somewhere i uh, copied it and pasted it in a document for now is what i've done with it anyway but this is also quite important as you're the owner so you actually have that's your owner name so that's almost like i think that's like a separate account created for you as the owner and then you got the password there as well so again that's like account creation but instead it's community creation and um, once you've done that you then click on i have securely saved my owner name and password and then you should be able to just click create community and you should be on your way i think you have to wait a few seconds and then something will happen so creating a community is not going to cost you an awful lot at the moment it's priced at just three steam so the current prices of steam that that isn't much at all you're just talking about cents at this point in time so you know for me i just thought wow why not as this part of the video demonstrating community creations and who knows my economics community might flourish so i'm fairly happy with that so if i want to create this community and i think it's all good to go i just click on okay and then we're away and i think again you may have a few second wait before we get to the next stage so this should be the next screen you see after you click OK. Uh, it's basically it's your wallet. It says your community is created and then you've got the get started and that's actually a button you click on. And then that will then take you to another screen where you can actually populate more information about the community you've just created. So here's my community. Um, this is the bare bones, not an awful lot of information here about it because I haven't actually filled anything out yet. As you can see, there's no posts, obviously. No one's posted to it, not even myself. Um, you've got the basic information. So you've got the name, which is just the name of the account at this point. One subscriber is just myself. Leadership, again, is the owner account that I just created plus myself. And pretty much nothing else. So the next thing you need to do is you click on the edit button, which is just next to where it says at high 112018. And then we have some more options to actually provide a bit more information about this community. So next up, we should see this screen. So here you can enter the title. So enter the title economics. Then there's something called about. So that's just very brief information about what this community is. So again, it's an economics community, just about sharing and creating economics content. Uh, you can have what language it's in. So I kept it in English. And I got a description. So what I got for my community, I'll just read that out to you guys. The Steam Economics community welcomes anyone who has an interest or knowledge of economics. This community accepts all types of content related or indirectly related to economics. Such content could include applied economics, economic theory, or even opinions regarding events with economic or social implications. Just fairly simple. Uh, you got rules. Um, I just populated this. I couldn't think of anything much at the time. So just put, be constructive in your contributions. I know it's not much of a rule, but anyway, just something to populate. And there's always an option to come back into this settings page and actually change things around a little bit if I so want to, or if you so want to later on. So back to my community page. So this is what it looks like now that I've um, included a bit more information. So you got on the right hand side, just kind of like the three speak community I was in just now in the Feathered Friends. It's got more information about it. So it's still got the number of subscribers, got the pending payouts, which is zero. Still no posts. It's got the leadership, which I didn't change. Though that's an option I can click on edit. You can actually change that. Uh, it's got the description that I read out and it's got the rules down there as well. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it actually says the language, which is English. 
So it's starting to look like a fully functioning community now. So I'll just take a quick look at the uh, the roles. So I hit the edit roles button and you'll see this. So it's got the account that I created for the community. That's the owner and it's got my own account and I'm an admin for that. There's also an option to add a few more people if I wanted to do that. So I'm just gonna click on that button and just see what we've got. So it looks like there's several different types of roles that people can have. So I've left the username blank for now and you can see the role and the different permissions they have. So they've got the owner, which assigns the admins, which I'm currently doing now. They've got an admin, which is also my role, which I can edit settings and mods and stuff like that. You've got uh, moderators, um, has a few more functions there as well. You can use user titles, you can mute people. You've got members, uh, just part of the leadership team. Then you've got guests, they can post and comment. So I'm guessing I'm a guest in... Um, or oh, the other communities that it stands at the moment. And it also got muted. So that is no post will appear. So if I've been muted from this community or someone's muted me, I muted someone, whatever. So if I muted somebody and they post, their post will not show in the community. I believe that's what it means if I've gotten down for muting. So there's quite a bit of control here to the, uh, the community owner, should we call it, in terms of what goes into the community and what roles. Uh, various other users have. So this is quite a useful feature to have, I think. It'd be interesting to see how this evolves as we go along. So this brings me to the end of this video about uh, communities, or should I say the uh, beta.steamit.com communities at this point. So this is very, very early development, should we say. This is the first time, I guess, you know, your everyday users are getting a look at communities. I think this is the first day. I think it was closed. That means it was only for certain people could go in there. I think developers or whatever could go in and take a look at it and test it and stuff like that. So it's now more widely available and I expect it to probably change quite a bit more. But this is basically just the first look at communities. And so far, I, I think it's pretty interesting what you can do. And it's going to be exciting to see exactly what we'll be able to do with this. But um, the options are very interesting. And it's going to really help, I think, with content discovery because you're now bringing your content into these particular communities. It becomes far more defined. So like my community that I created, if I got a lot of people coming in who really like economics and want to write about economic stuff, this then could become like a hub for people who want to get that information. And I think that's where we're going to see this go. But anyway, I think communities, so far what I've seen, it's, it's been pretty positive. Uh, I recommend any of you guys going there and checking it out. If you have a Steam account, like I said, you go to beta.steamit.com and then you can log in and you can explore and, you know, even create your own community like I did for this video. And, and if not, you can go and join some of the communities and start to engage with other people on there. But yeah, exciting times ahead. Um, thank you for um, listening and uh, watching this video. Uh, hopefully you found it useful.